Okay, 36. A cell that has internal resistance is connected to a switch S and a variable resistor. Okay, so there's an internal resistance here. I'm just going to label some stuff. Lah. E, then R to show the internal resistance. A voltmeter is connected between the terminals of the cell. Okay, so the voltmeter is here. When the switch S is open, the voltmeter reads 1.5 volt. This 1.5 volt is EMF because it is directly connected across the terminals of the battery. So this is EMF. The switch is then closed. Okay, so we're going to close this now. And the variable resistor is adjusted to have a resistance of 4 ohm. Okay, this is 4 ohm. The voltmeter reading now reads 0 0.75 volt. So this means now what the voltmeter is measuring is not the EMF because now this voltmeter is actually measuring this. Whatever that is happening outside the battery because it cannot measure inside the battery. Voltmeter is to measure energy conversion. Okay, so here you can see it's energy conversion per unit charge. Okay, so we're measuring the potential difference across here to here. This one, 0 0.75 volt, is across this point to this point, which also happens because there's nothing in between here. Here to here got nothing, here to here got nothing which means here to here would be 0 0.75 volt. Okay, law. so you want to find the internal resistance. We can write an equation. EMF is equal to outside volt plus inside volt conservation of energy. Okay, uh, EMF is 1.5. Outside volt is 0 0.75. Inside volt, you can use IR. Okay, so whatever current that is flowing inside here, I will also flow through the internal resistance of the battery and my direction of current is horrifically wrong and reverse. Hang on, let me fix it. Direction of current should be like this. Ah. Because normally we will flow counterclockwise, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to measure from here to here. Hopefully that is clear enough. All right, so for this question, right, we use the conservation of energy or the EMF equation. Wherever the battery supplies 1.5, the outside resistor use 0.75, and the inside internal resistance is using part of that 0 0.75 this is r okay can we find i because if i can find i i can find r yes we can so we can use v equal to ir for the variable resistor okay 0 0.75 is equal to i times 4 4 ma. so you can find current no current here would be 0.75 divided by 4 this will be 0 0.1875. Okay. So 0 0.1875, uh, I'm going to put that in here. Bring over and minus uh, 0 0.75 will be 0 0.1875 times R. Then you can find your R, 0 0.75 divided by answer. This is for ohm. There is a shortcut. The shortcut is this. I know that 0 0.75 is equal to 1.5 divided by 2. Right? So what I'll do is I'll do potential divider method. The 1.5 voltage is shared equally between R and the external resistor. So this one shows that the potential difference is shared equally between the variable resistor and R. 
So if it's shared equally, it means that the variable resistor is equal to R, which is equal to 4 ohm. I don't have to go through this one. I see this 1.5, I see 0 0.75, I'm very happy already. Uh. It's the same because technically speaking, you are having two resistors in series. Okay, if you look at this one, the current that flows through this 4 ohm is the same current that flows through this resistor. 4 ohm resistor. So these two things are actually considered in series. They share the potential. If they are sharing it equally, it means that they have the same resistance. All right, so that's it. Or you can slowly do that. Use the internal e internal resistance equation. Find the current, substitute inside to find the resistance. Okay, that's it for question 36.